weekend blue, and the fastest engine on all of Soho. He loves pulling the express. Gordon thinks it makes him the most important engine on the island. One day, Gordon was pulling the express out of Brendam Docks, but Diesel was on the same line. Out of my way, sniffed Gordon. Express train coming through. Diesel had to back off. This made him cross. You steamies are old and clapped out, he sneered. When Sir Topham Hatt realizes this, you'll all be scrapped. Scrapped, scoffed Gordon. Pop, oh, I'm as fast as I ever was. And he chucked proudly out of the docks. Gordon was speeding through the beautiful countryside. He was having a wonderful day. But then he heard a horrible squeaking noise. Gordon was upset. Squeaking could only mean one thing. Something was wrong. What if Diesel's right, he thought. What if the top of hat scraps me? Gordon squeaked sadly up the hill. The hill was steep, and Gordon had to slow down. The slower he went, the quieter the squeak became. Gordon was delighted. Aha, uh -huh, he said. If I go slowly, no one will hear me squeak. And he chucked slowly back to Tidman Sheds. That evening, Sir Cotton Hack came to see Gordon. Tomorrow is a very special day, he said. I am taking some village children on a boat trip. You, Gordon, are to take us to Brendam Docks. The boat leaves at nine o'clock, so you must not be late. The next morning, Gordon waited for everyone to go. Then he puffed slowly away so no one would hear his squeaking. Once out of the sheds, he started to pick up speed. His pistons pumped and his wheels spun and he began to squeak again. Oh my, said Gordon. Then he heard something even worse. It was a rat. Oh dear, oh dear, he cried. Diesel was right. I'm falling apart. What will Sir Topham Hatt say? So Gordon slowed down. Gordon crawled slowly into the station to collect the children. boiler sank. If he went slowly, the children would miss their boat trip. But if he went quickly, Sir Topham Hatt would hear his squeak and his rattle. He'd know Gordon was wearing out and send him to the scrapyard. With the children safely on board, Gordon pulled slowly out of the station. slowly through the countryside. He thought things were going well. But Sir Topham Hatt was very cross. He spoke sternly to Gordon. Why are you fooling around, Gordon? He boomed. You must go quickly or the children will miss the boat and that will never do. Yes, sir, said Gordon sadly. Remember, added Sir Topham Hatt, you are the fastest engine on the island. This made Gordon feel proud. This might be my last trip, he said, but I'll get the children to their boat on time. His wheels turned faster. His pistons pumped harder. Must be on time, must be on time, he puffed.
soon, he began to squeak and rattle too. And then he heard another noise, a knocking noise. But Gordon didn't care. If this was his last trip, he was going to go as fast as he possibly could. Gordon squeaked and rattled and knocked all the way to Brendan Docks. Salty and Henry were surprised. They had never heard an engine make such awful noises. Sounds like another steamy ready for the scrapyard, sneered Diesel. But Gordon didn't care about Diesel. He had made good time, and the children would catch their boat. I made it, he cried proudly. Thank you, Gordon, shouted the children happily. I knew you could do it, said Sir Topham Hatt, but why haven't you been to the repair yard? The repair yard, gasped Gordon. You have been making lots of noises, said Sir Topham Hatt. You need to have your engine looked at. So you're not going to scrap me? asked Gordon. Scrap Gordon, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. The fastest engine on Sodor? Who would pull the express? Gordon beamed with pride. Gordon spent the next day having his pistons polished, his axles greased, and his wheels well oiled. At last, he didn't make any more funny noises. Gordon was as good as new, and he felt even better.